Ah, uh, shit. It's episode 10, guys. We in double digits now. We're at the main place to kill the fucking uh, Lord Regent. Uh, find the broadcast, visit the torturer, kill the torturer. So we got to kill the Lord Regent, so I'm not sure if we're close to the end of the game or what happens. I don't know exactly. Don't ask me. I've never fully played through the game. I've probably only played through like one third of it before. So we're here at the Lord Regent's place. A lot of shit everywhere. There's got to be a way for me to to be able to My men and I will ensure no one gets sneak out of here, right? Yes, you do that, General. Oh. Keep this area secure and use that alarm if there's any sign of trouble. Yes. Don't mind me. No trouble around here. Oh, that's to the exterior. Okay, well that didn't help me. Someone is very close. Yeah, dies. No? Guess I'm just hallucinating. This operates a lot of the shit, huh? Huh? Okay. Whoa. This torture's chamber, Lord Region is all the way up there. And then there's the broadcast control station too. Okay. What does that do? Is that for the boldest measures in the safest? <laughs> you! I knew you'd come for me, assassin. But you wasted a trip. My men are disciplined, and Dunwall Tower is the most fortified structure in the city. Oh. Guardsmen are on their way to intercept you now. So run or fight! But either way, you won't leave this place alive. Villain we've been searching for. You. Well, it doesn't matter. I can't believe you came back here. Tonight, we can tie up loose ends. This time, Corvo, you'll face your execution instead of slipping away. I'll see to it myself. Ugh. What did the Empress see in you? just flew. Wow. Ouch. Next. You 
can't tell me that's everybody. That's all you got? Easy. Oh, man. Some body parts. Disgusting. General Tobias, huh? Well, wasn't a very good general, because I don't remember a single thing about him. So, in the meantime, let's go this way. Need the key for that. Just the junk room, eh? in recent months. The looting started in the warehouses. Once enough men took sick with the plague, the companies had to suspend operations. My husband, Malchus, was with the Marison Tobacco Leaf Company, which closed last year during the month of clans. He ran the fireboxes at the main curing barn. Malchus always said flu curing made the sweetest leaf. Sickness hits the tobacco men hardest because of all the smoking. They ran with a small crew for a while, but around the time my husband got sick, the fires were put out and the tobacco sat rotting. Somehow the thieves knew and started stripping the place. Later they moved on to houses. Bastards. Gotta be here somewhere. You Look around. Ah, Howdy. Send. Rush it! Ah. Oh well. Ow. Okay, there's one there. One there, there's one there. Rush him. Yeah, genius idea. Let's just all bum rush the guy with the gun, shall we? Yoo-hoo! Hello! Oh. What's in here? Super identification and handling. Um, once a victim bleeds from the eyes, you cannot help them. Death is inevitable, given our current understanding of the plague. However, by following protocol, we can limit its spread. All personnel handling weepers, or those in the final stage, must consume liberal amounts of one of the available protective potions. I, should, I forgot to get the wrong, or the right chair today for this, so hope my usual one doesn't squeak too much. Um, any of the variants will serve this purpose. Sokolov's Elixir, Piero's Remedy, for instance, a dose per day for the enlisted men, a dose twice daily for officers. Distance must be maintained, either through the use of pole arms or incendiary ranged weapons, in order to avoid the parasitic stinging insects that colonize an infected host. After use, strict washing procedures must be followed with regard to washing the middle kennels, transport paddocks, and the carriages used to transport the infected to one of the deportation zones, such as the flood district. More bullets, grenades, security room. That's just right. Don't really need it now. Kind of just, yeah. And some money. 
Gotta make sure there's nothing up there. Where's this go? Oh. And this train needs to go to the torture. I mean, the royal interrogator. Oh no. Why do I have to take it? He's harmless, unless you're scheduled for execution or for questioning. He's so strange. Oops. Oops, I I guess I could have waited. I guess I could have listened in before I murdered him, but I'm feeling a little bloodthirsty today, so yeah. What's in here? What you got in here? Nothing. Side. What we got in here? Hello. Nothing in there. Oh, I see. Sure, sure. She'll feel better now. And not feel like she's dying because she's dead. Perfect. Perfect. Give me that fucking. Give me. I feel like just like my game movements is just so janky. Tales for children. Sure, I'll read this. They say that Jimmy Whitecomb Riley was a brawler his mates called Smiley. He ran around up and down town, pulling off every kind of crime. Me. We have to make that rhyme somehow. On Bottle Street, he hung with the boys, throwing bricks at and glass and other toys. They start a fight, then ride, run and hide, breaking, laughing far and wide. Excuse me. Smiley liked to eat and drink all day and smash and bash the night away. Drunk and all alone, he drifted off a-sleepin', sitting on a bridge along a John Claverling. Sure. When he woke, something strange he found, stranger than a singing wolfhound. Become a blue John, had fish most slimy, and only remembered his name was Smiley. They say that Jimmy Whitecomb Riley was never seen again for all of timey. But he had, but he swam around up and down, drinking from the river, crying, "Why me?" I don't know. Why you? Just fucking bash this fucking floorboard in. What's this? God, this place is massive. Okay, I'll come back to this. I mean, it's not really that massive. I'm just being a bitch. To the torture. It's just beating up on a little. Strange. Oh, he has abilities. I see how it is. I see how it is. He has powers, too. Okay, to be fair, I didn't see this over here. Then I'm fucking being dragged in. I was like, this guy didn't die from a single headshot? It's pretty good. Oh, money. Dude, he just keeps smacking you, man. You're already dead. How rude. Let's read this first. Deary. Oh dearie, dearie, down in the cellar so dreary, why won't you come out to see me? When you were here, we made them scream, didn't we? Come back to visit, and I'll give you another present, carved and shiny. 
You aren't much in the way of proper conversation, mind you, but I do love to watch your work. Come back and I'll tell you stories. Such do stories. Your dear granny. Oh, great. Here you granny. Are, Corvo, within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold. What an impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. How will you end his reign? By blood or by truth? Hmm. He's not an easy man to get close to. If the Empress had been as well guarded, how different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after, or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things, make it all right again and crown a new Empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. What will I do in the end? Hmm. Hmm. Who knows what I will do? What was that? Let's flush him out. Strict and errant me Got you now! Guards! To me! Here you are! Anybody else? No? Okay. Well... I would feel pity, but I really don't care. Let's read this, shall we? The Overseer Chant. Restrict an errant mind before it becomes uh, factitious and divided. Can two enemies occupy the same body? No, for the first will direct it one way and the other, second another, until they stumble into a ditch. Likewise, two contrary thoughts cannot long abide in a man's mind, or he will become weak-willed and subject to any hearsay. Restrict the lying tongue that is like a spark in the man's mouth is such a little thing, yet from one spark an entire city may burn to the ground. The father of a lie will suffer a punishment compounded by each person real uh, by each person related. Restrict roving feet that love to trespass. They pay no heed to the boundary scenes of other men's fields. They wander into foreign lands only to return with their souls blackened by iniquity. Rats? Who called me a fucker? Someone's supposed to be on duty over here. Well, well they ain't. Let's guess what, they all did. What's in here? I can use some incinder incendiary crossbolts. Oh, well, there's you know. You can possess rats. I don't think I'm going to. Um, but I'm not a super. Oh, okay. Because I went a completely different direction than everything else. That might be worth checking out. Come, come, my child. Check it out. I haven't read that apparently. Probably just the. I 
I just burns to death and like that. Oh well, what's a shame. Uh, you know. Assassin dropped on him. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, didn't. Figure it out later. General Tobias Headquarters. Well, I murdered him way, way early on, right when he, right when I walked in. Let's see. Concerns about the Royal Interrogator. General Tobias, I have to press you again, sir. The torture has been coming into the barracks at night. Last night, Corporal Huso woke up to find the freak leering at him in the dark. Other men have reported that personal items have gone missing, with odd things left in their place. Sanders said he found a bunch of teeth wrapped up in his handkerchief. Teeth! And Bilson found three pointed rat painted rat heads on a string in his shaving kit. Whatever this is, it has to stop. The men are rattled, and I don't know how long I can keep them from going into that bastard's room and beating him to death in his sleep. I don't care what you call him. Executioner, torturer, royal interrogator, or bat-faced troll. Got to stay out of the barracks. First Commander Gregory. The Royal Spy Master. Excuse me. It is said that the office of the royal spy master has existed for as long as there have been emperors and empresses. However, in the earliest days of the empire, this position, position existed in secrecy. Only after the Morley insurrection was the position publicly acknowledged, due to the tremendous role that the acting spy master played in quelling the rebellion. Originally, members of the military or officers of the city watch were advocated for the role chosen by the admiralty. In recent years, the outgoing spymaster has made recommendations on his replacement from the small uh, cadre of espionage agents serving him. In this way, continued, continually is preserved. Continuity is preserved since many of the covert projects undertaken by the government are not committed to writing, only communicated in whispers behind secure doors. This leads to the most common critique of the office of the royal spymaster that actions are taken and deeds committed that even the emperor or empress is not aware of. This lack of oversight or accountability is a commonly debated topic during parliamentary sessions, but those who hold the position of royal spymaster insist that in order to function the role must exist outside existing bureaucracy or law. Well, of course. For the spy master, why wouldn't you say that? Hmm. The Lord Regent's Chambers. The Titanic. Oh, that's in here. Thank you. Sokolov of technology in the new age. One of the advantages of Sokolov's technology is that they share the same magnetic socket for the tanks of processed whale oil they use as fuel. When a tank is exhausted, another can be plugged into place with ease and the process is simple enough that any common workman or even the lower guardsman of the city watch can handle the task. This applies to the arc pylon and wall of light security systems as well as the pow powered carriages used for transport by those few who are wealthy enough to afford them. The only obvious downside of Sokolov's design is the 
uh, volatility of the tanks themselves. A few incidents have occurred resulting in damage to property or bodily harm whenever one of the tanks has exploded. Ouch. Yeah, just... Okay. Yeah, give me that. Why don't they have... Jesus. How big is this place? Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Jessamine. Many of those who live through her reign will weep until the ends of their lives over the pale beauty with the piercing eyes and the foul end she met at the hands of her own twisted servant and protector. In her father's days, the Caldwins were thrust in the limelight despite their distance to the throne. When the former dynasty provided no heirs, a prosperous age followed the emperor, but his daughter would have different luck. During her short life, political intrigue and minor conflicts created cracks in the empire, undermining unity across the isles. The Rat Plague, however, was a terror for which neither Empress Caldwin nor any other living being was prepared for. Oh, thank you. Okay, so where the fuck am I in relation to anything? They put it in the bathroom. Bathroom security system? Wow. That's crazy. You could not carry any more. The High Overseer. Jesus. Over the centuries, the Abbey of the Evermen has held its place as the dominant religion across the Isles. Not only do its adherents call it the only meaningful faith, but aside from a few tolerated variants, they castigate the followers of other religions as heretics, active re actively resulting in harm rather than harmony. A key component to the Abbey's health is the High Overseer. Venerated by all other overseers, the woman in the or oracular order and the congregations from each town and city across the empire, the High Overseer is called upon to interpret the seven strictures and to initiate important ceremonies such as the Fugue Fest at the end of each calendar year. Above all, the High Overseer must embody the, st the strictures serving as a living example of their perfection. Upon the death of the acting High Overseer, it fa falls upon a council made up of elder overseers to call for the Feast of Painted Kettles, the first step in the arduous process of choosing a new leader for the Abbey. Hmm. What's the combination? Will it just... I was gonna say, is there just like a... Man, nothing like being so conceited that you have like statues of yourself and everything else like that. Anything up here? Nope. Man, ain't nobody in there. Give me that key. Ba -ba. Look at that, easy. Don't even need your stupid fucking key. Failed experiments. Of course I have attempted to improve upon Sokolov's design. Of course, and why not? After all, it is likely that his thinking was influenced in some small way by our time together at the academy. 
We are all part of a community, striving to unknot the mysteries of the cosmos. Even those among us who possesses the greatest minds are often led to a fruitful line of consideration by, how does one say it, our intellectual subordinates. Sokolov is no exception to this, despite the glamour of a genius he has cast over the aristocracy. And further, it is true that many of my experiments have failed. No need to gossip about it behind my back in your social clubs and in the very chambers of the academy itself. Great ambitions requires risks. You may laugh now at my door to nowhere, but someday you will not. Your children will likely see it as commonly as you see the electric lamps lighting our streets at night. But a few short years ago, you would have laughed at Sokolov's arc pylon or wall light. Your laughter, condescending smiles, they are nothing but evidence of your own limited imagination. It is because of I. Ah, <sighs> more reading. The Tower of Dunwall. For over a century, Dunwall Tower has been the capital of the Isles of Crystal and the seat of power across all the Isles of the Empire. Rulers have come and gone, each adding something to the structure. Gardens, observatories, new walls, pools, and specialized interior chambers to suit their needs and whims. Dunwall Tower has withstood numerous wars, several large-scale fires and the collapse and rebuilding of the Northern Wing. With Tivia and Seraconos joining the Empire first, it was morally that resisted longest. Some of the conflicts that arose also necessitated the further, for further fortification of the tower, repeated assassination attempts, hey what's going on, near the end of the con conflict with Morley resulted in the creation of the royal protector position with each ruler choosing his or her own royal protector after careful consideration. Ah, you have a protector. Okay, so what was the point of... So how do you get in there? That is the question I have posed. How? Okay. Just break my feet. Satisfied. This is just to be like walking up around here, huh? Hmm. Questions, oh, questions. There might be another way. I do not know, though. But let's let's go this way. Actually, yeah, we did that. Did that. Okay. This just leads back over to here. We'll go this way. Avoid the. Oh, this is straight to the rooftop. We don't want that yet. can't talk to the propaganda officer, I'm dead. I got dude, dude. Dude, dude. Electrocuted. Oh, okay, so we don't have this in your notes yet. That's right.
Oh. Please. Please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets, some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room, but I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. That means I have to go back through the... I gotta go back through fucking arc pylon. Oh, I scared the shit out of myself. I meant to... At least I can just go back to the Lord Regent's uh, little spot now. Ooh, that spooked me. Spooked me. Spooked myself real good. Okay, well, I'll just walk around. I ain't gonna waste more. More of my powers. A 935. Jewel box. Uh, let's look at this steep drop. Lord Spymaster, we had a specific agreement and I planned around it. The Royal Protector wasn't part of that agreement. You assured me that she and the girl would be alone, so the price of the job just went up. Send the coin to the alternate dead drop or you'll be sure we'll come calling Dodd non-lethal yeah dude well I mean this guy you know oh is this just a root no wait a second uh, uh, uh. no I want to kill him let me uh, no should I do this and I'll nah Okay, fine. We'll do it the non-lethal way, just this once. But... He refuses. Then we're gonna have some problems. This can't really be the non-lethal way, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, he ran off. He fucked off. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city. To rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was what a simple plan. Bring the disease bearing weapon? rats from the Pandisian continent and let them over, take care of the poor. No. The plan worked Man, perfectly. Just let me go. I beg you. At first, rats often look as if they I'll still kill they hid from the captures and bred at a sickening rate. Soon it didn't matter. Rich, poor, all were falling sick. And then people began to ask questions. Thank you, Mr. Lord Empress... Regent. Told me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way. Off we go. 
still killed him. You know, neutralized him. And, you know, I still... Still killed him. You know how it goes. What's up? Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Yeah. Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, I didn't get that, uh, that bone charm. Ghost never did. <laughs> yeah, right. Aha. Uh -huh. Like I'm ever going to be able to do a mission where I'm not detected. I'm just not, Big change. not stealthy. Makes me uneasy to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. Yeah. The Abbey has a new his political stuff, here. and then I just blast him. Our work is almost done. The others are in the bar, no doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Here, here. In we go. Did you kill anybody tonight? How many? Nope. That's it. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Caldwin, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Here, here. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The seven strictures? The litany and the white cliff? I... no. I lack the qualifications, Overseer. Uh, hi, Overseer. Perhaps you ought to send her to me, and soon. She is a spoiled child. I'm tired of being afraid. To be empress. When I'm empress, I'm going to make everyone else afraid of death. Just like you do, Corvo. Excuse me? Uh... The other day I saw Emily staring at you. Do you think she understands what you've done? The Pendletons? Lady Boyle? I'ma make you, uh... I think on some level she knows what's going on. I think on some level... This isn't healthy for this child. Just putting that out there. Ah, oh, shit's happening. And surprise! Ah, oh, was it the fucking drink? They spike me? Do they just do this, just get the regions Samuel, out of the way? Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. 
Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. <sighs> yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job, then. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. Damn. Damn, you bastards. Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you. After all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state. And maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. Samuel, you're lucky. Kick your ass. Hey, you get stopped at Piero's. The fuck, man? Just floating in a boat down the river. Poisoned. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poisoned. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to doubt. Mmm. The plot tickets. Sorry about that. Friend. The one who talks to you in the dark. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you. Who you are. And who you fight for. You're a mystery. And I can't allow that. And I'm gonna get thrown out too. Well, here I am. Here you are at last, yeah. in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves? so no one would ever know what they'd done? 
Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. Hmm. Get me back out there. I have to. Kill them all. That's not shut very well. Nothing, sir. Was happening bounty ledger Kroonigan eliminated 1500 coins paid Salard location unknown Elizabeth abducted delivered 2000 coins paid Booth eliminated payment refused employer eliminated unknown masked man revealed to be Corvo Slackjaw location unknown Corvo in custody to be delivered alive Corvo's bounty notice. Note. Dodd, finding Corvo in possession of that mask could have been an elaborate frame job, but now the newly minted Lord Regent Havlick is announcing to all the city that he has proof linking Corvo to the masked man. Bounty is 30,000 coins. That's it? How dare you? But if Corvo truly is the masked villain and is responsible for all the things the wanted posters accuse him of, I expect the bounty to double. Because we have him alive, we should be able to barter for even more. Regarding Slackjaw, we watched him for a week, and when we were ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he left the city. Rolfio. Reports to Dodd. This is the musical device that the Overseer has strapped to his chest. While it was functioning, we were unable to perform transversals or tetherings. I suggest we all get a good look at it. Oh, yeah. from here. A. Letter to Overseer Franklin. Overseer Franklin, wasn't it? When we speak next, I hope you will tell me two things. First, what do the strictors tell you about being imprisoned in a cell you should easily escape? Were your, were your, were your legs not shattered? Secondly, how your kind knew the location of our base and what exactly you hoped to accomplish there by ma marching a hopelessly outnumbered band of fools through chest high waters. God. Hmm. Go up or down? You can go down. We're dealing with the assassins now. Okay. 
guess I didn't really need to, uh... Okay, okay. It hurt. Moving up. Moving up, Paul. We can moving up. more job. Ronaldo, do the job as you were told and do not question my planning again. Yes, the woman who met in the ruins of the Brigmore Manor possesses abilities like her own. and They use poisons administered by Dart. But just as you share your abili my ability to blink across space through the transversal trick, you also inherit my resistance to some toxins. As I told you when you first joined us, it is another of my gifts that whoever serves me loyally shares in some of my power. This may or may not aid you against their poisons. The leader of the Brigmore Witches must pay for her betrayal. If you succeed, your share will be enough to build a fine home in Saraconis, Saraconis in your old age, assuming you live. Dodd. So there's also... More fighting going on between them and some witches. What? This place is flooded indeed. To my gear. That's what I gotta get to. Fucking uh, plant bullshit, huh? It's like a nightmare I'm living in around here, huh? Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. I'm making a comeback here. This is the base. I gotta go get my gear, though. has like everything and it ain't good I don't even have possession obstruct a path to try the power is just for stealth enabling you to hide in small places move through space normally too small for you for you like wire filled drainage pipes or vanilla, and we'll try and stop you if you're possessing her we'll possess Possess humans as well. It's limited, so combat or fast move are not possible. Possess human allows you to perform simple acts such as collect human attack or possess human. Bah, bah, bah. Shit, that's what I need to do, man. Come on. Work 
worked out a little too well. Okay, well that maybe not. Not so much. Oh, it's just like a nightmare around here. But we will Just munching away over there. Fire's still running. Huh. Well, yeah. We'll chill out till uh, next time. Chill out here. Till next time. See everybody later.